It doesn't happen too often that we cover an actual Valve release title on this channel. I mean, we did cover Half-Life Alex when it came out, but we didn't really go into too much depth with it. At the time, I didn't have a VR headset, so it was pretty difficult for me to even get footage of the game, let alone play it. But now, Valve has actually released a game that almost everyone can play on their standard PC. You don't need an expensive VR headset for this one. Aperture Desk Job is a new tech demo that released only a couple of days ago meant to give the player a tour about what they can do with their shiny new Steam Deck. And because the game is actually meant to be played on the deck, you do actually need a controller in order to play this. Valve didn't optimize it much for a keyboard and mouse setup, but hey, a cheap controller from Amazon is still significantly less expensive than a VR headset. So this requirement is a lot more approachable for many people. Anyway, you guys didn't click on this video just to hear me ramble on in the intro. Let me give you my thoughts on Aperture Desk Job. Lambda Federation. This week's Fan Art of the Week award goes out to Lambda Gen user at Rai Jung. They made a physical model of the entirety of the Half-Life multiplayer map Crossfire. They went into pretty amazing detail here. Always love physical stuff from the community. Want your artwork featured next? Submit it to the Fan Arts category on community.lambdageneration.com and maybe I'll put your artwork into this After Effects template next. So, I've played through the entirety of Aperture Desk Job about twice now. I tried recording my first playthrough session, but Nvidia's built-in screen recording software decided it was a better idea to record my second screen only that day. Thanks, Nvidia. You can eat my entire ass. So, I had to play it a second time to get all the footage for this episode. But you know what? I didn't really mind all that much, because the experience was actually quite nice. Especially if you're a fan of the Portal franchise, this game, or tech demo, will definitely scratch an itch. Why do I talk about itches so much on this channel? Clocking in at about 30 minutes long, Aperture Desk Job attempts to teach the player all the ways they can interface with their Steam Deck you know, the portable PC Valve just released, by guiding the player through a small story all about the mundaneness of a job, entrepreneurship, and inventing the perfect killing machine. Toilet turrets. Um... Oh, uh, toyrets? Um, turlets? Nah, the marketing department uh, still needs to get involved. The teachings come in the form of how you control this small game. The desk you sit at, and that you're never allowed to leave, represents your Steam Deck with all the buttons in the right places. Pressing any button on your deck will also press the button on the desk in-game. Throughout the game, you'll get into various situations where you need to use the buttons to accomplish a task. In the very beginning, for example, you need to test a toilet by using the face buttons in the correct order. Later on, you need to use the joystick and even gyro aiming to man the toilet to destroy some props. And there's even a moment where you needed to use the microphone and the touchscreen on the deck. And it works pretty amazingly. Inmate's name is now preserved for the permanent record as... Uh! Now, let's address the elephant in the room here. I don't have a Steam Deck. I have a Stream Deck, but not a Steam Deck. I'm gonna get mine in the second quarter this year, and Valve didn't send us one. So I had to play through this entire tech demo with my Xbox Series controller, which worked pretty well for the most part, actually. For the buttons I didn't have access to, like the weird paddle buttons that are underneath the deck, or the touchscreen, heck, I don't even have gyro aiming, Valve actually did compensate. Which was surprising to see, because technically they didn't even need to do that. But Valve knew that players who didn't own a Steam Deck would want to play this demo, so they made it compatible with regular controllers too. For the gyro aiming section, for example, you could just keep using the right analog stick and the game didn't nag about it. For the mic part, I was just able to scream into my normal microphone, and for the part where you had to take a screenshot and where you had to sign your autograph with your finger on the touchscreen, you could just use your keyboard and mouse. The game even prompts you for that. So, like I said, this tech demo is actually very accessible. Now, let's talk graphics for a moment. 
Obviously, this tech demo is optimized heavily for the Steam Deck, so you might not have the same visual fidelity as Half-Life Alex here, but this demo still looks absolutely amazing pretty much most of the time. Source 2 is an absolute powerhouse and shades seen so well that it almost looks pre-rendered sometimes. Animation is also incredibly smooth and especially Grady, this ball of chill over here, is very well animated and lively. It's absolutely lovely to look at. And the physics? Oh, <laughs> the physics. There was this one moment in the demo where a toilet reservoir was being filled up with bullets and the physics here are not only super smooth, but they are so good that they almost look pre-rendered and hand animated as well. Not sure how these are done, but if this was all dynamic, then my head goes off to Valve. This is some revolutionary stuff. I mean, we got a good look at Source 2's physics in Alex, but it just still amazes me how good it is sometimes. And it's also nice to see Source 2 run like this in non-VR mode. It's worth mentioning that my FPS did not even dip once during this tech demo. Not even during the more heavy scenes that you'd think would tumble the FPS. And it's good that it does run like this because the game has no graphical settings to change at all. Maybe aside from a native resolution tick box, but that's it. All in all, I think Aperture Desk Job is definitely worth the... Wait, how much is this? Wait, it costs nothing? It's free? Well then I recommend you to go ahead and download it right now! Seriously, it's only 30 minutes long, and if you've got a controller laying around, then you have absolutely no excuse not to check it out real quick. I'm really interested to see where Valve is going to go with the Steam Deck. It's been out for almost a week now. Some problems have been noted by the community already, some of them have already been fixed, and others are in the process of being fixed, like the stick drift problem, for example. But the overall reception has been pretty positive despite the problems. So I'm still looking forward to having it in my hands soon. Maybe Gabe Newell will personally bring mine to my house here in the wonderful, cheesy country of the Netherlands. Okay, that might be a stretch, but I like how he went around Seattle to hand deliver the consoles and a man can dream, right? Anyway, I hope that there is more where this came from. And looking at this article from Axios with Valve, Craig Coomer confirmed that there are multiple exciting games in the works. Probably much bigger than Aperture Desk Job, so let's wait for that. And while you wait, we just announced our very own brand new mapping competition series called Lambda Builds, with our first source-themed competition being called Infocomp Start. Would you like to participate in this competition? Well, you can! Go check out the announcement video by clicking in the card on the end screen, and check out the official website in the description for more information.